today we're going to be taking a look at this Mosquito Magnet Patriot Plus. Um, it's been working really nicely for the last couple years, but uh, I foolishly left it out over the winter uncovered, and it looks like there's a bunch of spider webs and junk in there now, and it doesn't want to start up this this time. So it is uh, giving me the flash, fast flashing red. Um, probably just isn't warming up enough so we're going to check out the or we're just going to clean it out and we'll check out the igniter and gas flow and uh, see what's up with it um, when I say it was been working really well uh, these have a hard plastic net to them and when I started cleaning this up it was filled up to here with mosquitoes from the last time it ran uh, last year so it uh, it really s eats up the mosquitoes I know people are either love or hate these devices uh, in my particular area in the Northeast it works really well uh, these are a little finicky and they do require keep such as what I'm going to do right now um, if you want something that you plug it in and forget about it you know, you're probably better off just getting a pesticide company to come out and spray your your yard and area and drive off the mosquitoes that way. To me, this is sort of quote-unquote natural uh, in that it's, there's no chemicals being released. Um, you are burning propane. The CO2 is what attracts them in. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has different preferences, so... Let's go ahead and start cleaning this up. I'm going to wipe down the outside and then we'll start taking it apart. First kind of interesting thing is that last screw I just took out. Oh, now I can't put it back together already. <laughs> um, just goes to this power cable and this just sort of slide, slides in there. So, interesting. Let's see if I got everything loose. Seems like the top's gonna lift off. Ooh, yeah, you can see a lot of bugs and debris. Let's clean that up. Okay. What do I notice right away? Well, compared to previous models I've owned, somewhat similar. You have your control board, you have the igniter right here, you have thermal couple, which you can see quite a lot of uh, corrosion around. Let's clean that up. Um, Here's the uh, quick clear port which goes straight in through the gas inlet and this has a single screw holding it in place here. So I think what I'll do first is pull this out and um, just see what the jet looks like and see if, where we go from there.
Yeah, I was afraid of that. We have to lift this thing up in order to get get room to bring that out. So start moving things. It looks like this is held down with three screws. Uh, so Give that a shot real quick. Actually doesn't look too bad. It's nice and clean. Hopefully it's on camera. A lot of times I take them out and they're looking pretty sooty, but that actually looks pretty good. So we'll leave that alone for the moment. Let's see. So the next kind of test that I normally do would be to hook it up to power, propane, make sure we get the solenoid clicking to open up the gas flow, make sure the igniter actually glows. We'll also check this out and make sure that it looks healthy as well. Um, given the amount of corrosion here, I'm thinking I may just want to split the thing in half, the whole heat exchange unit and uh, get in there and blow out the catalytic converter and all that good stuff as well so yeah let's go ahead and uh, start tearing it down and see what it looks like even further inside right. I think the first step is just going to be get the electronics out of the way and then we'll go from there This is one of the, this is a plastic screw, and I think, like my other one, it may not come out on its own accord. It may end up having the silicone that back in place because it's probably going to twist the head off. it's coming out. Look at that. Just go slow. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at all the buildup on that. It may just not be sensing the heat because there's so much corrosion built up on it. tabs that you just got to push in on these. Trick is keeping them all off while you do it. Now this part you need to be very careful with. 
they're often quite fragile and you don't want to touch it. It's just a very, you see it's just a loop of resistive material. It gets real hot when it's lit or when it's got electricity put through it and it'll break real easy. It's fragile and you don't want grease on it. So, there's that and that. I'm going to do, undo this wire and unplug the fan. Right. Plastics held onto the base with some works. Breaking it down. You have to get something to pry that apart. Okay, it's this already came apart a little bit up here, so I'm just gonna try and spread this out a little bit. So go and work it, work it loose, because as you can see, there's some kind of sealant there. completely hideous but I'm just gonna scrub this out a little bit make sure there's if there's any drain holes that they're clear and all that kind of stuff and it's getting dark quick I hope it doesn't rain on me Okay, this wasn't too bad. Um, just gonna go ahead and put it back together and check out the electronics and everything else now. Just that uh, silicone or RTV, whatever it is, is still pretty sticky, so I don't think I need any more. See, it attracts mosquitoes even when it's not on.
I know this fan's good because when I try and start it up, I can hear it spin up. try and clean this off a little bit is like I said this may be the whole problem right here this is so corroded that the heat may not be coming in like it should it's gonna do without breaking it I'm gonna get some sandpaper Uh, hopefully that thermocouple is okay. I've actually had to replace one of those before. I got the exact part number, but you just dig out this groove in the top. There's a little thermocouple in there. Put a replacement in, solder it in, or uh, you know, solder the wire connections. Put a little RTV silicone over a little heat, you know, Heat tolerant silicone over the top, and uh, it's good to go. All right. So, ooh, like I said, try and be careful with that. Um, I think what we need now is power and propane to diagnose this little thing, to diagnose this thing for a minute. Make sure that we get gas out here, and that that goes hot. And so, let me get that set up and we'll test again, we'll test it out. Okay, got it back out where I can put some power on it. And I could go ahead and turn it on. I can push the button. Fan spins up. What we're looking for at this point, we want to make sure that this goes click and that that will glow after it does. Got good air coming through from the fan here. So this will take a few minutes and well, a couple minutes before it does its initial boot up. 
but we're listening for this to go click, and we're looking for that to turn cherry. Okay, that's glowing. So hopefully this will turn on in a second. Nothing there yet. All right, so you see I'm at a fast flash again. This never triggered, so something wrong in the gas solenoid here. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. So I'll let this cool down for a minute and then we'll tear into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is put this igniter back in because like I said, they're pretty fragile and I don't wanna accidentally break it. So that takes care of that. Now I gotta figure out what's wrong in here. So let me get a wrench. A little washer on top of that. You don't make, make sure you don't lose it. Let's take this all open. This one's different than my uh, previous ones. They can... There we go. It seems... This... Slides nice and freely, and uh, so this isn't like the, the ones I've had in the past have like plates. This one is obviously just an electromagnet in essence, <laughs> and it's going to energize this and suck it up the tube when it's time to actually fire off. So. Let's see. All right, time to do a little research. Okay, so all this thing does when it's energized is set up a magnetic field. And you see how that pulls back in the presence of a magnet. So that's all it should take to open up that valve. So just to make sure all this is good, I'm going to bring in the propane tank, hook this back together, and just see if I can get gas to flow with the magnet. Alright, so now we'll see if this actually will let propane through. This brand new, newly filled tank, so that shouldn't be an issue. Of 
course now it's getting all breezy but I believe propane is coming out yeah there's definitely propane coming out so the valve itself is capable of working so either this isn't being energized or this has failed which would be weird because it's just a coil uh, let's check the plugs aha uh -huh. this is not plugged in that could well be part of the problem looks like when I was moving stuff around it came loose I was trying to check on that earlier and I thought I had caught everything I see it. Alright. So now, hopefully, that will now fire. All right, now it's all hooked up again. Let's see if we can get some gas out of here when it powers up. Yep, gas is definitely on. So, yep, it's all working. So, at this point, all you have to do is uh, put it all back together and see if it'll run on its own. The uh, gas, the flame won't sustain, sustain itself outside the chamber, but you can see by the way that flame's moving, it's definitely on. So, alright, let's go put it back together and see if she works. Let's get the wire wrap back on. Actually, before we do the wire wrap, let's get everything organized. Power cord back through the hole. Set the switch back in the slot here. Get 
that grommet down in the slot. Boards there, wires are good. Just need to get the top back on. And I'm gonna try and clean out the top a little bit more. So when you put this together, there's a rail, there's a slot right here that this needs to go into. And something else. Gotta be uh, slow and steady, and you figure out how to line it up. Not sure what I was hanging up on at first, but we went in. Okay, it's all back together. So it's time to hook it up and see if it starts up. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since I turned it on. And we've got the steady red. And you could probably see, I don't know if you can see or not, but I can see mosquitoes swarming all around this thing. Um, so I'm getting out of here and letting this do its job, but 
I'm gonna guess that either the solenoid for the gas somehow got unhooked inside by itself, which I kind of doubt, or that thermocouple was just so covered in corrosion that it couldn't pick up enough heat. So, but anyway, we're on a solid red, it's running. Uh, mosquitoes are everywhere, so I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> Ask questions in the comments if you got any. Bye.